It is finally. 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 Time for the main event. We're 54 minutes into the show. There's two of us. We're only talking about one show. Let's tell you how much is going on here. Right. And I don't think we've strayed off topic that long. A, a little bit of a diversion into uh, baby dinosaur food time. That's fair. But, uh, that's it. MJF versus Adam Cole. So we have all wondered for weeks now who is going to turn on who. What's yeah. the big angle going to be? Is Aussie Open going to turn on one of these guys? Is the kingdom and Roderick Strong? So they come out here and the bell rings. And for several minutes, we get the biggest house show match in the history of wrestling. They're doing a fashion show as they leave the ring to take the time to put on the Better Than You Bay Bay t-shirts, which I will remind you are available on awshop.com. They do some chain wrestling. They're doing standoffs. They're peeing the crowd. MJF is getting the crowd to chant, sportsmanship, sportsmanship. But then he pokes Adam Cole in the eye. It's a big joke to him, and he's, he's expecting Cole to fight back fire with fire, but Cole takes this seriously. He is not happy about this eye poke, and he slaps Max across the face. As he should. Yeah, well, I mean, he poked him in the fucking eye. Yeah. That's a dick thing to do. Craig, it you, really is. I've been friends with you for 20 years now. Uh -huh. if, you, if you poke me in the eye, I may strike you. That's fine. I just, I've had it coming. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the story of the match is, while both guys are cheating pretty much nonstop, at least Max is like reluctant or kind of feeling guilty or sheepish about it. Like he knows it's the wrong thing to do. He just can't help himself. Mm -hmm. Max was, or excuse me, Adam was fighting this match out of resentment and hate. He was not happy. He was, he was not pleased. It was not fun and games to him. And thus the crowd hated him more. He was definitely 100% the heel in this match. No doubt about mm -hmm. that. Especially Max tries to dive, but can't bring himself to do it. He chickens out again. I do love they keep doing the, like, the same stuff, and it works every time. Yeah. This is like the fourth time he's chickened out doing a dive, but then tried it later, it works just fine, and it works every time. The AEW crowd is so easy sometimes. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. So uh, he, he starts a dive, chickens out, can't bring himself to do it, turns around and gets super kicked right in the mouth. That gets a two count. And then Adam Cole strips the T-shirt off him. Mm. No more better than you, baby, now. Now everyone's, everyone's pissed at Adam Cole. They know who the heel is for sure. So uh, the big spot here, they start hitting each other's moves, much like M uh, much like FTR and uh, the Young, Young Bucks did. They're changing. They're trying to do sunrise, Panama sunrises and heat seekers and all this. And they're fighting outside, and they're standing on top of the stairs when Adam Cole grabs him, lifts him into the sky, and drops him with a brain buster on top of the stairs in a move that could have gone wrong in about 18 different ways. My God. Like, they pulled it off as well as it could have been done, but they're still... You ever notice the stairs are pointy? Like, on all <laughs> sides, right? And these are, these are quote-unquote, steel steps. Right, well, yeah. It's... They're metal. They got they're the, metal. you know... It's not foam rubber. They got the diamond plate pattern on it. You diamond know? plate, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, like, like the, 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 the top of Adam's back goes across one edge of the stairs... The top of Max's back goes across the other edge, and then like his ass falls on the steps themselves. There's so many pointy bits stabbing you in the skin through all of this. Both guys come Excuse up bleeding me. from the shoulder back area. but uh, And Taz points out this is right in front of the Freedmans, right in front of Max's parents there. So Adam actually tried to win by count out here, which is weird. I don't think he wins the title there, does he? Uh, no. Yeah. They're fighting back and forth. They're fighting outside. Max goes for a tombstone on the desk. But this is a line too far even for the devil. And he lets it go. He's cursing himself. What a coward, Nigel notes. He just slammed your head into the steps. It's like, God damn it. Nigel's right. He's exactly right. Adam had this coming. But Adam, in fact, does not hesitate. He grabs MJF. And then he hits a tombstone on the announced desk. And when I tell you this desk did not move. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I talked about the state of CM Punk's knees earlier from years of doing Pepsi plunges. <laughs> this one tombstone onto the immobile desk of not movingness did more damage to Adam Cole's knees than CM Punk's in his entire career. This looks so absolutely brutal. The desk, unlike the WWE desk, did not move an, an inch. And then one of the announcers actually claimed there's actually a steel support running down the middle of this. I believe him. I 100% believe him. 
This is three and four titanium diamond plate. Uh, it, uh, it didn't move at all. It's something very hard and unbendable. Actual diamonds, I guess, is what I'm thinking of. <laughs> so uh, he throws Max in, tries to win. Uh, Max kicks out of that. They do a strike exchange. It's very, very clear again. The crowd is is, is booing Cole and cheering Max. So the the uh, Cole finally hits a Panama Sunrise, but on a sell through, on a sell, MGF rolls backwards back up to his feet, hits one last desperation super kick before collapsing. We're getting a this is awesome chant as they fight to their feet. They're dragging themselves up by the ropes from across the ring, staring at each other in their eyes. And then we got something that in a hundred years absolutely should not have worked. Yeah. But God damn it, it did. It did. They pointed at each other, these tag team champions and competitors, and with fire in their eyes, they both scream, Double clothesline! And they charged each other. <laughs> and I think Adam swung and missed first. Yeah. And then Max swung and missed. Maybe the other way around. But the point is, on the third try, they run at each other. And they hit each other with a double clothesline. And the place goes absolutely apeshit. In all of Cena's years, he never called a spot this loud. <laughs> think, think of the ground that covers. This is not calling a spot, though. This is... <laughs> oh, yes, it was. Well, I mean, it was. <laughs> Technically, they did. They, they, they called a double clothesline and they, they closed on each other. But it, it's like they were, they were so excited <laughs> to hit their double team finish on each other. Fair. Now, briefly afterwards, it went south because as both guys down, the referee counts three. It is declared a double pin and thus a draw. Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Sean, Sean was maybe more furious here than he was in the, the, the uh, <laughs> Stampede match. Now, not for one second. I actually think it's actually going to be the finish. So I didn't no. Know, but no. Uh, but uh, Cole grabs a mic and repeats his claim from their first match, which went to a time limit draw where he demands five more minutes. And I'm thinking, well, that doesn't really make sense because it didn't go to a time limit. It was a double pin. But it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. Cole says, I'm not giving you five more minutes. We're going until there's a winner. And the place goes crazy. And they start wrestling. And uh, oh, sorry, I, should, I should clarify this. We're going until we get a winner in fucking Wembley. Then the place goes crazy. That's important detail there. So uh, they start going for uh, covers. The ref gets bumped. MTF tries the Eddie Guerrero chair trick, and they did a variation on this I don't think I've seen before. No. Where Max tosses the chair to Adam, who immediately just catches it and tosses it right back to him. And Max catches it and stares like it. Like in a hundred years, it never occurred to him, Adam would throw this back to him. They play hot potato with it for a while until Adam throws it back and then takes a bump. So he's down. Like he knows Max will get caught in DQ this time. But Max is no dummy. And every bit as nefarious and diabolical as Adam Cole. So he wraps the chair around his own head and gently lays himself down on the mat. <laughs> implying. It was howling. That Cole has wrapped the chair around his own head. Now, I thought between the uh, double clothesline spot and, and this thing here where, where Cole keeps trying to win by DQ where he won the title. I thought all of this was some of the silliest stuff I've ever seen in a wrestling match. 100%. And then came the bit where Adam Cole accidentally hit the referee with a Panama sunrise. Can you imagine? Nonsense. <laughs> Utter nonsense. <laughs> and, and furthermore, they didn't send anybody out to help this man. That's, that's the point. Yeah, they left him down there. Nobody. Tony Khan said, eh, let it go. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. So Adam knows he can't win the title. The ref is down. He's turning the referee. Behind him, MJF reaches into his trunks. And pulls out that dynamite diamond ring. Mm. And he puts that on his pinky. And his fist is cocked. But the camera starts to pan out. And you see, I don't know how many thousands of people were behind him of the 80,000 that were in the building. But you see thousands and thousands of people going, No! Don't do it! We don't want you to cheat and beat your friend! And Max can't help it. He's never had friends before. He's never been loved before. He can't disappoint these people. He puts the ring away. At that moment, Roderick Strong appears out of nowhere. I don't know if he was under the ring for like seven hours. <laughs> but he's just in the ring, kicking MJF in the dick. Uh, Adam Cole is confused. 
but decides to capitalize on it, hits the sunrise and the boom. It was like a 15 count, but there was no referee. By the time the ref finally recovers, Max kicks out. People are jumping up and down with joy. I need to remind you, this is nearly four hours in the pay-per-view itself, which followed more than an hour of zero hour. Mm. It was like, I think it was I think zero hour was actually two hours. I only watched the second half. Oh my gosh! So these a lot of the and, and and it wasn't full for zero hour, but there were thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of people there. These people have been there for a long, long time. And when Max kicked out of this Panama Sunrise and this boom, they're all jumping up and down with joy. <laughs> so Roddy insists that now Adam use the championship belt. I'm your best friend, he says. Use that belt. Adam looks down at that belt. He tears off his own better than you, baby shirt. And he picks up that belt. But man, even this Grinch Adam Cole's heart can melt. And he can't do this to Max. And he throws the belt down. Roddy is furious. He storms out. Adam is watching Roddy walk away, trying to appeal to him. When he turns around, Max is a small package. And the referee counts one, two, three. And then my favorite thing about this finish, the referee counts three. And it's not like Adam kicks out at 3.1. Max has him down for another two or three seconds afterwards. Mm -hmm. This was, he pinned him with a wrestling hold. He was beaten. Adam was out-wrestled. He wasn't going nowhere. I mean, it was set up by the distraction. But at the end of the day, MJF beat him with a superior wrestling technique. So the crowd is honestly not sure what to make of this. Stun silence. I think they all thought that we thought that the kingdom or Roddy would get involved and somebody, somebody would turn to the other. I was waiting for the kingdom and Roddy mm -hmm. to actually help MJF when when Cole had the belt. I don't know why. It just popped into my head, and then it didn't happen, and I was confused for a few minutes. So MJF wins. He retains his title. Roddy disappears. Adam is heartbroken. All he had to do was hit this guy with a belt, something he has done a hundred times before in his career. And he couldn't bring himself to do it. And he choked away the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. He is despondent down in the corner. Max doesn't know all the stuff he went through. He knows uh, Adam got beaten. He's sad. And he's down in the other corner. And he drops the belt to go tend to his friend Adam Cole. To console him in his darkest moment. Don't be like that, he says. These people still love you. He goes to retrieve the Ring of Honor tag team titles. We've still got these. But Adam slaps the belt out of his hands. And MJF, man, it's just another rejection. Mm. More heartbreak for MJF. I knew what he says. You're just a fake piece of shit. You were never my friend. You want all that for this? He holds up the triple B. Fucking take it. And he throws it at him. Just get it over with. He turns his back, and this time now he's inviting Cole to hit him, as Cole had invited MJF to strike him after their match with FDR. Roderick Strong is back out of nowhere. I, I don't know if he's teleporting like Nightcrawler or if he's the fastest wrestler in the entire world. <laughs> but he's... He, he's it, did I mention Wembley State, the middle of Wembley Stadium? Do you know how hard it is to appear out of nowhere there? Yeah. But uh, he's up on the... He's screaming at Adam, hit him with the belt! I'm your friend! Hit him! And Adam throws the belt down. And Max hears the belt. And he knows it. And they do the hug to end all hugs. <laughs> You've heard of the Mega Powers exploding? This is the Baby Powers imploding. Just stuck to each other. Place goes crazy. Friendship wins in the end. Everyone's happy, happy, happy. They all got those money, money's worth. The, 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 the confetti cannons fly. It's the red, white, and blue of the Union Jack falling down all over them. They're playing their music. They're celebrating with their three belts between, between the, uh, the two of them. And the show's about to go off the air. And uh, they make an announcement. They're going to do it again. And why wouldn't they? They're doing all out the last Sunday in August in 2024 again. Which brings me... My first thought was, does that mean that the double back-to-back -back weekend pay-per-view is going to be a tradition now? Oh, gosh. Because the whole reason they're doing it all out <laughs> next week is because Tony wants it to be a Labor Day weekend tradition. <laughs> they're not changing the weekend to Labor Day. 
Yeah, you're right. So who knows? Maybe maybe we'll see and maybe we'll get the uh, results of these two shows here and how many purchased show A and show B and maybe he'll change oh. his mind in 12 months time. But uh, there you go. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.